Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Um, this video is a two-piece video, um, but all ties together. Um, I've had, I know it's been a long time since I let you guys all know uh, what was going on with my daughter. Um, because they're you dealing with it every day, um, you don't really see a lot. Uh, she is making progress. Uh, the last time, I think, when I, when I talked to you guys last, uh, she was about the equivalent of about a six-month-old baby, uh, but with knowledge. You know, she recognized people, but she was about like that. She's currently, now, she's, she's still at UC Davis Medical Center. Um, and she is probably now about the equivalent of about a three-year-old, uh, again with knowledge. Since we talked last, uh, she, uh, she has had her brain cap put back on. And um, then they were trying to get her to be put into a home. And we fought it really, really hard. And we were able to keep her there. And so far, we've been able to keep her there. And uh, thank God we did. Um, the there's a in rare cases when the brain cap gets taken off, and then it's allowed to be off for a while to allow that pressure to to go down. There's some drains that are up inside the head that they they drain together inside, and then they go down in the body, and the body gets rid of the fluid. But apparently, uh, when they put the cap on, one of those one of those ducks drains uh, decided not to want to start to drain anymore so she started developing some um, uh, some some fluid buildup that was causing pressures and so it basically it stopped all of her rehabilitation she wasn't gaining anything anymore and the doctors were starting to look at this and they were running scans and uh, they figured out that this drain wasn't working so they had to go back in. They had to put in a drain. It's they call it a shunt, uh, but it's a drain that uh, is uh, magnetically controlled. They can control it with a with a device that they can open and close the drain. And um, so basically, what happened is that 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 went in, and it seemed like almost overnight uh, she started to start the recovery process again. And so she's. She's getting stronger every day. Um, her left side works extremely well. Her right side is just now starting to, she can get some things to move a little bit. And um, it, it, her whole right side hurts her a lot right now. Um, but, uh, you know, she's able to help us get herself into a wheelchair and, uh, and, back, and back in bed. And uh, it, it's, you know, it's coming along, uh, it, but you know she's got a long, long road ahead. Um, but <clears throat> what I wanted, I wanted to give you guys that update because I, you guys, a lot of you have asked, and um, we've also got—I almost forgot—we've got another update I need to let you know. So originally, before Jenny's accident, we were planning on doing another car show, uh, probably in Reno. Uh, you know, for this August like we did last year because it was a great success on the on the car show but after Jennifer's accident there's just no way in the world that I can that Jennifer and I can um, put this together it's just too much work and <clears throat> so we're we've decided that we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna hold off this year uh, with the hope that we will be able to do a car show um, this kind of not 23, but 24. And hopefully, basically what will happen is that maybe this will turn into an every other year uh, show. And I'm just hoping that things will settle down. But I'm going to, I'll be making announcements to, to that. But I figured while you guys were watching, I would at least tell you that. <clears throat> but the other thing, the, the, and this is where a lot of the, this last weekend, um, my wife Jennifer and I, we took, we took the car um, on a run that uh, means a lot to me. Um, 
when Jennifer first got hurt, <clears throat> my daughter Jennifer first got hurt, um, there was a gentleman by the name of Larry Tawney. And uh, he's, he organizes a lot of different runs in the Northern California area, and he does a, does a really good job. And so, uh, Larry, if you're watching, I just want to thank you, because you, know, you do a great job. But he had told me back then that this run was going to happen, and it was for all timers. And, and so it's, uh, I have my little notes here, but um, it says I'm fighting all timers for, um, on the longest day. And so it's called the longest day all timers run. And we went on that and it was, it was really, really good. We had close to 40 cars. So we went from Vacaville uh, up to Lake Berryessa over uh, to see the Glory Hole, and then the, then we went and we went down to Calistoga, and you'll see um, uh, I took some pictures, I took some video, and then uh, a good friend of mine, and you've probably seen his car many times. I've mentioned him a bunch of different times, Kevin Reynolds. Uh, he did some drone footage and some regular footage and he put it all together into a little video and um, he used the music I'm going to have to change because I don't want to get a copyright strike but I'm going to post all of that video here and so you can see. Um, what I'm also going to do is, is that this longest day, so everybody that went on this run, they donated a little bit of money to be able to go to the Alzheimer's uh, cause. And one of the reasons, like I said, that it, it touched home very much so is that, as you know, Jennifer was in a coma of, after her accident and she just wasn't responsive. And what they ended up doing is they used a drug called amantatine. And that drug was developed because of Alzheimer's. So Alzheimer's studies and all the work that they've done created this drug and they were, and it helps them, but it also was able to bring Jennifer back and bring her back to being awake. And, um, and she also has another drug, which I can't think of the name of it, but it's a side effect, one of its side effects, or one of its main reasons it was ever produced was for Parkinson's. So if you guys are ever able to help in that research for Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, it really, really will help. It helps not just those problems, but everything that's mentally, uh, you know, challenging. And and so anyway, I told Larry we were going to be there that day, and we were. And so then he he gave us a little more insight on it, and he told us that there's, uh, you know, they have a private sponsor, an unknown sponsor, and I honestly don't know who that is, but they said that once all of these donations are made for this year because they're calling it the longest day because it goes throughout the whole year and at the end of this year that sponsor is going to match whatever is received to go toward Alzheimer's uh, um, research okay and so anyway I'm going to be putting that information up on the screen but it's it's called I'm fighting Alzheimer's on the longest day and I'm gonna put that link up there on the screen and this way you can go there and you can log in and you can donate something if you'd like to I would uh, I would highly appreciate it if you did it would really uh, really help um, I have no idea um, I don't know any of these people at all I'm not I only I'm connected with Larry so when you go on to their website this will be uh, he's one of the representatives for them so you will actually see his name when you go to log in. It'll be on behalf of, and um, this way you'll you'll know. Um, but anyway, uh, guys, uh, enough of all this stuff. I'm going to show you all the fun stuff now. It was a great run, and so uh, you know, sit back and relax and uh, enjoy the day with, that we had. We had we just had a great time. Uh, like I said, a bunch of different cars. We had C4s, C5s, 6s, 7s, 8s, and we also had one of the first Z06s, the C8 Z06s, that got delivered, and it was in the run with us, too. So, anyway, there's some aerial footage. There's lots of just, you know, different footage, 
um, that I took just on the ground walking all the different cars and showing all my different stuff. So we're just going to jump into that right now and hopefully you enjoy it. Guys, thank you for watching and I will keep you updated with anything else that's happening with Jennifer. Um, but I tell you what, it's the one other thing I almost forgot to say. Thank you guys all, every, each, each and every one of you guys. You guys are always checking in with me in, on Messenger or Facebook or an email or a text. Letters, I have never, I've never seen such outpour of caring as I have for you guys with Jennifer. Uh, and it means the world to me. And I apologize, uh, you know, you see me doing some videos from time to time. Um, I'm just trying to re-engage, trying to make sure that we don't just, you know, fade away. I want to be able to keep this awareness out. One other thing, <clears throat> I almost forgot. Those of you that are local, you'll, you'll appreciate this. This intersection, I actually got my, the attorney that I hired for Jennifer, I got him to talk to a company that had a civil engineer, road engineer, come out and look at this intersection. And he said that he didn't know the, the story behind everything. He said that this was the worst intersection he's ever seen designed in the state of California. And that we better get something done soon, otherwise somebody's going to die. Well, as of right now, uh, we are at the 10th accident at that same location since September 22nd of last year, right now, right? Can you believe that? That Caltrans has known about this problem, the Highway Patrol's known about this problem for all of this time, all the way back, as far as I can tell, and I can read into everything that I've researched, since, since 2010. And it goes back further, but I don't know documented proof of that. We've had multiple deaths, um, and uh, we had one just a few few nights ago, and and it's it's just it's just terrible that you know they don't pay attention and they don't worry about the things that they should be doing. So what we've done is we've managed to be able to finally uh, finally build a petition the state of California, and, and when I say petition, we had to sue them uh, to sue the state of California as well as Caltrans to get something done. And so I'm requesting, I uh, told my attorney uh, I would love to be able to see an overpass put in there because it's not just the people right here in our community, uh, here at Plumas Lake. Um, you know, the sign still says there's 5,600 people here, but there's not. It's almost 20,000. And then when you drive up the road, there's a little town called Linda. And then there's another town called Marysville. And then Yuba City, right? All these people have to go right past that area every day if they live in any of those cities. And so Caltrans is not taking that into consideration. And quite frankly, it seems like they don't care. But we're, going to, we're, we're trying to get to it. I, I promised my daughter I was going to try to make this happen. And, and so far I am. Um, you know, and if something doesn't happen because of it, it's not because I didn't try. So any, any of you guys, uh, you know... Um, that have been asking, there's there's your answer. I'll try to keep you guys updated on that too. But it, it's this is it has been a chore, trust me. So anyway, uh, guys, enough of that. Again, I know I said that already, but um, I'm gonna throw you into the video now. Enjoy it, and I will talk to you on our next one. Okay, thanks now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, we are up here going toward Glory Hole up near Lake Berryessa. Uh, this is for the cure for uh, Alzheimer's run and uh, we just took a break here real quick and I'm trying to get up here up to the beginning here so you guys can kind of see it um, see all the cars there's a major turnout this is awesome but I'm running up here really quick and uh, I'm gonna see if we can and we have no no real cell service up here, so um, I'm doing this, and then I'll post it later. Um, so, but anyway, we'll be able to get this up there. So I'm just gonna go right up here to the very front. I'm gonna walk all the way back to the back, and uh, so I'm gonna flip the camera around, and let's.
All right, guys, so here we go. We got it all flipped around. I'm just gonna walk this pretty darn fast because I, I asked him just to take a break just for a second. As you can see, all those cars going on up there. Uh, wanted to take a break just long enough to be able to be able to get a little bit of footage here. Okay. And I'll try to grab some more stuff as we stop later on. Um, but yeah, this has turned out to be a really, really good, uh, good cause. Um, so this is going to be going on this donation that they're doing for this run. Hey guys. Hi. Um, it's going to be going on through the whole year. Uh, here's a 2023 uh, Z06 guys. Um, but anyway, they're going to be doing this throughout the whole year. And uh, when they have a private sponsor that's staying anonymous, that uh, it, whatever the donations are after all this is done, they're going to they're going to match that donation. So um, so anyway, uh, if you guys, yeah, there you go. Not me, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys. Um, have ever run into anybody that have had Alzheimer's? You know exactly how hard of a uh, uh, what bad um, uh, one word. There you go. There you go. Um, you know what type of disease that is. And those of you that don't, hello there. <laughs> those of you that don't, um, it is a terrible disease. And you know, honestly. Um, this whole group, they came out and they supported, you know, a run for Jennifer to help her with her finances and things. And um, some of the drugs that the, the doctors have been giving Jennifer for her recovery um, has come from Alzheimer's uh, medications, as well as some of the Parkinson's uh, drugs that they use. I'm going to swing here, kind of go right in the middle. So, you know, not only, you know, these cures aren't just for Alzheimer's. They're, they're for other things. And, and the doctors are finding out that, you know, um, a lot of this stuff is all interconnected. So um, I'm going to try to get this link from, uh, uh, from Larry. And we'll put this up there. And hopefully we can get the link so you guys, if you guys have been able to donate and you'd like to, we'll be able to get you that donation uh, link. Because it would definitely, definitely help. So I'm just gonna just walking kind of through here, guys. This is a real quick video, um, but uh, you can see I didn't, I haven't counted all the cars yet. Um, got drones flying over. We'll try, hopefully, maybe I'll have a count uh, later on. If nothing else, I can count them. I'm watching the video as I'm as I'm editing this. But uh, here's a, one of those 2020 Zeus Bronze. Uh, it's a beautiful car. So, and then we got, then we got a couple burgundy ones right here, guys. All right, you guys are leading up, leading the end of the pack, huh? Do we, we, I understand we have some more people coming though, right? They, we wound up at the end of the pack this time. I know, right? Leaving, leaving uh, Concord, we were at the front, so. I know, right? I was near the front too, coming from the other direction. So yeah, and I'm in, I'm like in the middle now. <laughs> All right, so. Guys, um, that was just a real quick, uh, you know, maybe about a five minute video, but um, we'll get it up there. We'll get it posted. And uh, like I said, I'll try to get the, put the link down below um, on the screen and in the description. So hopefully we can, uh, maybe some of you guys can donate to the cause. That would be really great. Um, Cause it definitely will help the Alzheimer's research. Well, guys, we have made it over to Lake Berryessa's glory hole, and the road is closed over here, so we're all kind of doing a, a about face here. Uh, so we're kind of taking a break. Uh, cars are just kind of getting turned around here. I'm gonna swing back around. Um, see, the cars are all still coming in, and uh, you know what? It's like I need to move forward a little bit here. I don't know right where he is. He's probably up front. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to move forward here just a little bit. We're just all trying to squeeze in.
<laughs> All right, so now I think we're good. All right, so I'll shut that off. We'll get back out here. So I'll swing back around here a little bit. This way we can get some more of these cars in. So I'm not sure. My rock's falling. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk back to the back here and then I'll move forward this time, guys. So the rest of the group, I think, finally caught us. And so they're... Everybody's here now. Yeah, I think everybody that is somebody, right? Yep. All right, so, so guys, I thought this was just gonna be a really short video. We're just gonna bring this, we'll just cut across here like this. Uh, I'll just... Don't worry about anybody hitting me now that the road's closed. But uh, I'll just walk these out here. So I'm sure some of these you already saw. But uh, anyway, this is a really good cause. Like I was saying, there's a drone flying up and over. Um, so, so if you guys are, um, if you guys are in the in the giving mood, be sure I'm gonna put the link out. I've already talked to Larry in between the uh, the video here and and the last video. And we're going to uh, we'll put this information up there so you guys can donate. And um, let's see, it's like we still don't have a count, but hopefully we'll have a count before it's over with here. But yeah, if you guys can if you guys can donate to the cause, that'd be great. That would really be cool. All right, here comes a car. <laughs> time that we uh hey i remember when i had my first car my first corvette so we set off their alarm <laughs> and anyway i'll just kind of swing back around and through i hear the i hear the drone there it is oh that's kevin flying his drone too all right Say hi, Kev. Hola, como estas? Say. All right, so I'm just kind of meandering through here, guys. It's funny, a lot of these cars I have worked on. It's really funny. There's a lot of them here that I have worked on. So. <laughs> so, but yeah, yep. I know, right? <laughs> Guys, look at this. Isn't this a beautiful car? I, I, I have to take a second to show this to you. This is a 1985. And I think they told me it has like 36,000 miles on it. Isn't that beautiful? This thing is in great shape. Take a look at that. Isn't that nice? Hey, when, an 80, when, when, the, when the old C4s are taken care of, they're just beautiful. So, Mom, do you have a favorite car? All right. Do you have a favorite car that you've seen? Well, I'm hearing cars starting again. I don't know where they're, where they think they're going yet. I'm just kind of following the pack, guys. So, um, so I thought, like I said, I thought this video was going to be a little bit shorter, but this is cool. Um, it'd still be a short video for me, actually, but um, this just gives you an idea, you know, where there's the Napa county line uh, i think from here we're actually gonna go we're gonna go get something to eat um but um like i said i'll be putting the information in the link up on the screen here and if you guys want to donate to the alzheimer's cause uh that would be wonderful so 
Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. If we get some more video, I'll add that onto the video. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon. All right, guys, we have gotten to our, uh, our stop here where we're going to take some pictures. And so Kevin's going to be doing some aerial photos. And so we're, we're just all trying to get, get parked in here. And so um, I'm going to need to start taking a, I'll just flip the camera around here in just a second and I'll show you around how we all are and, and uh, it's just beautiful out here um, so hang on just a second we'll get you flipped over all right so we've got, got cars galore here they're wrapping around all over there they're coming around so we're uh, are kind of let me move out a little bit farther you can see the cars are getting ready to to come in here so we're up here in calistoga you can see the old sign right there you can see it over there so kevin's going to get some aerial shots here you can see him firing up the uh drone and see if we can get some pictures of all these cars coming in get out of their way all right so we are all turning in. So there'll be some cool shots here pretty soon. Once we, uh, if I can keep myself from getting running over. <laughs> Kim, guys, say hi. <laughs> and then we've got one truck right here, right in the middle of everything. All right. This is a really a good turnout, guys. Um, I don't know exactly where the restaurant is, where we're supposed to be getting it, getting some food. Um, I've been going pretty long and hard uh, this morning. This gentleman right here, uh, Mr. Peters, he is a... You are a miracle. You're a driving miracle. He was in a motorcycle accident right after, right after my daughter got hurt in her accident. And uh, he, has, he has made damn near a complete recovery. We're just going to do some videos up here. So he's done a complete recovery. Um, he's, uh, I think he's got like one more, one more uh, surgery he's got to do uh, in May. But other than that, he got, he was in a motorcycle accident. It was just really, really, really bad. Somebody hit him and uh, damn near killed him. He was in a coma for I don't know, a few weeks, if I remember right. So, so anyway, uh, but he's doing really good now. And uh, now that he's not doing motorcycles and Corvettes, we get to see him a lot more because he's in his Corvette now. <laughs> he's not doing motorcycles anymore. Yeah, we're going to turn them all up, and then Kevin's going to do an aerial shot for us. <laughs> so I'm sure, I'm sure us Corvettes are driving these, all of these cars crazy. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> Good about yourself. Good. And so, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, he's getting himself all ramped up here. Um, I don't know how good this video is going to turn out, guys. But it's this has been a really fun day, um, and like I said, it for a really really good cause. That's that's the thing. Um, like I was explaining to some other people, and I've explained it to you guys once before already in the video is that the, you know the the research they do to cure alzheimer's uh or alzheimer's i should guess i should say um is actually it goes to help a lot of other a lot of other people a lot of other problems you know and like jennifer our, our daughter they got hurt it's living proof uh the the drug that brought her out of a coma is what they call a mantatine and that's the drug that they actually use and they developed for Alzheimer's. So, um, so that's one of many, one of many drugs that they have 
that other problems benefit from that. So anyway, um, guys, uh, Kevin's getting ready to take some pictures here. So I don't know if you can see, I don't know if, where'd he go? There, uh, the drone's back over there. I can't really see it right this second, but um, anyway, we'll, uh, oh, I see he's taking pictures right now. So anyway, he's gonna get some good shots. We'll put those in. He's gonna share all this information, all this uh, video with me. So um, it'll make it for a halfway decent video, I think. All right. Um, so guys, uh, most likely uh, this will be the last thing that I show here today. Um, so I just want to thank you guys all for taking the time to watch this video um, and uh, you know just spending a few minutes with us here today this was a really cool thing and like I said if you guys could donate uh, to you know to the cure for Alzheimer's to help for that uh, I would really appreciate it um, like I said I never never really gave it that much thought until after my daughter benefited from the research from this. So anyway, guys, thank you again for watching and we'll talk at you guys later.